Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode 5 of my Minecraft Skyblock Let's Play on my very own server, Neo Network, that you can play along with me using the IP down in the description and the top pinned comment below. We have both Java and Bedrock support, so if you have it on your console, you have it on your phone, whatever you have Minecraft on, we support it and you can play along with me. You can even come to my island if you'd like. So if you guys want to visit my island, and uh, drop a little message for me using a book into this chest right here. I will read them during the episode. So all you have to do is just anywhere on the server, just do slash is, visit the Neo Cubist, and it will take you to my island right here. Now, I do close the island while I'm recording, but I'm on the server plenty when I'm not recording, and you guys can come say hi and talk to me. So I know a lot of people really want to, you know, come and visit the island that they've been watching, and that is how you can do it in the bottom left corner. Just IS, visit the Neo Cubist, just like that. It'll put you right here, and the place to put your books is right there. So, okay, updates. Between when we recorded last, I really am loving how this island is coming along. I really like the spawner area. I really like the cactus farm. I think everything is coming along beautifully. Now, what I did in between the episodes is I made some cactus minions, which means I had to go down here and I had to break the cactus. I actually only ended up breaking this entire field of cactus just one time. So I think I'm going to let you guys listen to a satisfying noise while I break this cactus. So hold on. <laughs> so satisfying. I don't know why. The sand and the cactus is kind of valuable, but we don't need this anymore because we have those minions up there working for us while we AFK, and we're already at tier three cactus mastery. We're trying to get to tier six, which is triple sell price. And uh, yeah, let me <laughs> let, let me break all this cactus real quick. We'll, we'll turn the sound down a little bit so that I can talk uh, while I'm doing this. So the plan for today's episode is that we need to build an area for farming because we have no farms like at all. I really want to do sugarcane this season because sugarcane is very good and the fact that you can plant it right next to each other. And I don't know, I just like sugarcane. I also like the other crops, but I did carrots last season and uh, kind of burn out on carrots. So we're gonna try and do something special with some sugarcane. I, I don't know how special we could make it, but we could try to do something. We also kind of need a fishing area. We, we just kind of neglected to build one of those. So maybe we'll end up building Oh, that's right. I think some of my cactus is ending up in the uh, in the crop hopper up there. I'm just trying to get the sand because the sand is kind of valuable. We do have quite a bit, but we have been making a lot of money. So all the cactus that comes out of this cactus farm way up yonder is going directly into an auto cell chest just because, you know, I already had enough to craft the, uh, the minions and stuff. And you can see it just kind of fills up in here. And uh, I also did an IS upgrade that makes these auto cell chests a little bit more effective. So if you go into IS upgrade and you look at the chest, you can see that right now I'm selling for 85% of the normal value. And this keeps all your mastery uh, cell multipliers and stuff like that. So don't worry about that. Uh, but I believe you can get it up to 95% maybe. I, I don't know. We'll have to keep upgrading it and find out. But yeah, it goes into this chest and then it's just pumped via hopper straight into here. And all of the money doesn't go into your... your your uh like your players bank it goes into the island bank so do slash is bank and you can see we have four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in here which is quite a bit because my internet failed at some point during last night and i didn't end up here uh, like the entire night so it was just like five or six hours we got that much money so it's a really good way to get money i highly encourage you do that and uh, you should also be making some cactus minions now i think i might have put some cactus Yes, yeah, so I put cactus into here because I wanted to upgrade the minions to a higher tier. But now that I'm thinking about it, I may really not need to because they're already working plenty fast. And yeah, so I did more key alls yesterday. So that's why you see these keys in my inventory. So if you want to get just a bunch of premium keys that you normally have to buy with a gift card or whatever, um, just log into the server and AFK and I, I just give away a lot of keys. So let's go to the crates and let's open those keys. Okay, so we have a total of 15 vote keys. Make sure you guys are voting on the server as well if you want to get some gift cards. Um, you guys can also get these ranks, which you can see the list of ranks right here. And if you want more info on the ranks, just do slash ranks. And uh, if you vote, you can get these multipliers, which is super helpful. But you more importantly get these gift cards, which you can use to buy things like the ability to fly, which is super nice. 
So let's open all of these at once. We'll just press escape and cancel. And uh, looks like we got a few value blocks. We want to make sure. Okay, we can't sell the golden apple. Good. So that was $592,000 from just the vote keys. Which are completely free. It's completely free to vote. Let's see. What do we get from the pollen crate? Nice. Enderman spawner. I'll take it. And two petal keys. We'll just skip it. And we got an illusion wand, which I will let some lucky player have. <laughs> There's my admin account just hanging out, sitting there, looking at the lucky crate. Look at me. Look how lucky I look. I look pretty cool. Uh, we'll just do auction hand for $1. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my island. So let's open these advanced enchant books and see if we get anything. Um, okay, we got Missile 5, Fiery Barrage 2, and Inferno 1. None of those are anything I'm interested in. I've been gathering XP, so I got 259,000. Um, I think what we're going to have to spend the majority of our money on, we need to save a little bit for like actual builds and stuff, but a lot of my money is going to just be spent on straight spawners because we really, really need to buy more. So you guys have been helping me get to tier two. I really appreciate it. You guys have been going crazy. So if you want to help me and help the series, I'm kind of doing this as this season. I want you guys to progress me through the spawner kills. It's, it's kind of fun. We got to work together as a server. So just... IS visit vi visit the Neo Cubist just like that and then turn to your left run down here or fly down here either one and help me kill these tier one mobs that we can get on to the next tier so let's check we are halfway there now which is really good but we only have 24 out of the 100 spawners bought so we need to buy like oh that's so much money we're gonna buy 51 now so I have a little bit of money it's like we have the most pig spawners so you can kill pigs probably infinitely. Um, but I'm curious. So how many more how many more tier 1 spawners do we need? Okay, so we just need 25 more. Okay, can do. So we have had 3,638 people join the server this season, which is absolutely crazy. So thank you guys for the immense support. This has been one of the biggest seasons ever. And we're only on the fifth day. So there's so much more time to start. So if that's something that interests you... Oh, a beehive? Ha! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think you're supposed to have beehives, but I think bees are completely disabled anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, if you guys end up having issues with your uh, lumberjack enchant not working, go into IS Beacon and uh, disable haste, because I only really wanted haste like for when I'm mining in my origin and stuff like that. So disabling haste can be um, a fix for the lumberjack not working. I told the devs about it, so they'll end up fixing it anyways, but... If you had any, uh, if you had any issues, ooh, got a pet egg. Let's go. Got a penguin pet. Nice. But yeah, it's only the fifth day of the season. So if it's if if it's something that interests you, you know, you got a little bit of spring break left, or maybe your spring break's already over and it doesn't matter, or this doesn't apply to you. But fifth day is a very good day to start. The seasons last many many months, so it's still a still a very good time to start. So I'd love to see you around on the server. Okay, let's get into the actual build today. I like to do things while I'm talking, and I think mining trees is always a good option. When I planted these saplings, I'm pretty sure... Did I plant these... Salt? No, I planted these completely randomly. I wanted to experiment with uh, how how many more saplings I could get. Because I didn't want to... I, I, I kept planting chunk trees, and then I realized that like the middle of the trees wasn't growing. So maybe I'll try doing like rows or something next. I don't know. This one, I just kind of randomly, like sparsely planted saplings. So maybe like 50%. Blank spaces, 50% saplings like this. Like something like that, you know. But I might try rows next time. I'm not sure if that would be more efficient. Um, you can see that we are at fortune 6 on our axe. So that means like... Look, so we have 2 right here. Now we have 5. Now you have 6. 9. I mean, you can watch the stack go up insanely quickly. It's pretty nice, man. It's nice being able to get this much wood this quickly, and you can honestly sell it for quite a bit because we have that mastery multiplier, so 1400 bucks per log stack is... Well, it's not bad. It's not the best, but it is it is a really good source of early game money, I would say. Early to mid game money. Select the color which best matches the item. I would say it's that one. Nice, let's go. And yeah, we're, we're going to change the captures that include colors because there are people out there who, you know, surprise, can't tell different colors apart from different colors because they're colorblind. And uh, I told the devs that that needs to be changed. So we, we 
we will be working on that. So I do apologize. There's people out there who are like, bruh, come on, dude. I, I literally can't do this one. I'm not a bot. I just can't do it because I can't see colors. And it's definitely not fair. So we are we are working on it. We are working on it. Yeah, so I don't think I got enough saplings. I mean, I could wait for them to decay or whatever, but I don't know. I, I feel like it was honestly a little bit better whenever I was just doing it as a chonk tree. So I don't know. But anyways, we get to build a new area today, which is kind of exciting. <clears throat> I'm trying to organize this a little bit to see if we need to buy anything. I think we should be okay, honestly. And I want to grab a little bit of dirt. And yeah, so... <laughs> I, I said I didn't want to expand my island, but we're getting to the point where, like, even if I wanted to make a path to go down over here, I don't think I really can. Maybe we'll have a path. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I, 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 I kind of have a little bit of an idea. So let's go over to here. And I guess we should build the base with the black stone, since that's what, we, what we've been doing. It's okay if a few of them are not... Um, so we'll start going down like right here and we'll see where we end up because <laughs> I, I don't want to like I don't know make this seem so compact that it ends up being like a nuisance to come down here If that makes sense because if everything's I don't know. I mean this is okay This isn't bad, but we do need to level it out because how close to the wall? Yeah, I mean we're like right next to the wall over there So we'll expand it out just like a little bit and then we'll have it turn and then come down again Something like this. I, I know I'm rambling, but I'm trying to make sure that it, it feels in theme without going too far and too close to the edges. We may end up just making the island bigger so that we can... And, we, and we'll still keep it compact, right? But we'll have more room to make the paths and things like that. So let me build a little bit more path, and then I'll come back when I have a better idea of where I'm going with this. Okay, so I got the path for the most part done. We're just kind of going down here, going down here, because we need a big platform when we're going to farm. And uh, preferably, I want to make this out of something other than uh, just straight grass, because it's super expensive. I need to figure out, like, what I'm going to be doing. So if I look in personal missions, there are a few. Like the farming one, you know, farm is 10 carat potato wheat, and, or harvest, not whatever I said. I think I said fairest, but yes, we need to harvest these because I want to get to the next tier of mission. But I don't want to plant a big field of those. We'll kind of do that in a little auxiliary field or something like that. I don't exactly have a plan for that. Um, but let's build this path out a little bit. Because obviously we're going to have other things, you know, stringing off from this. It's not just going to be the farm down here. Um, we'll go ahead and cap it off for now. Because I don't know where else it's going to be ending up, you know, like leading to. But we'll just say like right here is going to be the farm, right? Somewhere, somewhere over yonder, okay? And now I need to go in here with my uh, with my materials, and I need to make this path look good. So I will do that real quick, and then I will come right back. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It ended up looking like the rest of the paths. I mean, I hope it looks good. If you didn't like how the if you don't like how this looks, then you probably hate the whole island. Um, and then we'll we'll plant grass at some point. I'm not too concerned about that. So if we're gonna do sugarcane, there's a few ways you could do it. Some of them are more complicated than others. Let's just go in masteries. Let's just look at the crops. Let's see what we want to do. Like, What do we, in reality, what do we want to do? I know that to get MCMMO up, someone told me don't use glowberries this season. But I'm probably still going to end up using glowberries. I, mean, I, I could do cocoa beans. And, like, to be fair, it probably wouldn't be that difficult. Um, it's just that they can be kind of a pain. Like, you know what I can do that I didn't even think about is I could just grow some jungle trees and uh, break them like I did early on in my season. And you gotta space them out like quite a bit, I learned. Like jungle trees are very touchy. They don't like to be close to one another. Like, they, uh, they, they definitely like and approve of their personal space. So even like spaced out like this, I'm not confident that I can grow all of them. Uh, but let's buy some jungle trees because I, mean, I may have some jungle wood. Uh, I'm just gonna buy a stack. I may have some jungle wood, but I honestly don't know. So we'll just get some. And we need the actual logs, right? Because we, we need we need to grow some cocoa beans. So we'll listen to that player. I appreciate the advice. Because otherwise I'd, I wouldn't be able to... <laughs> I wouldn't be able to play as good as you guys. I, I just don't play as much. Because when I'm playing, I'm recording usually. Or, you know, if I'm not recording, then I'm doing something else. Talking to players, stuff like that. But I, I, I do grind quite a bit off camera. But sometimes... 
I don't get around to it. Okay, come here, skellies. I need your bones. I think it was fixed. They don't burn in the sunlight anymore, which is nice. It was funny because, you know, we updated the server to 1.20, and that was like, you know, it doesn't sound like a big change, but uh, when you have a server like this with so many custom plugins, you know, that aren't being updated by, you know, other developers individually, we have to go in and make sure every single plugin works with 1.20 in a, you know, it has good behaviors with 1.20, which we're still working out some kinks, but we have a full, you know, development team, so we're doing our best, working as quick as we can. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at these big old trees. You gotta love jungle trees, man. I mean, they're just cool. I remember when they added them to the game, it was super exciting to see, you know, a tree that wasn't a one-by-one -one tree. Um, I wasn't as excited whenever they added the, uh... Oh, dude, this is so nice! Being able to break them this fast, oh my gosh. It was, it's not a pain to break these, you know, you just do like a spiral staircase upward, but I gotta say, being able to fly and just being able to break them like this is so much more fun. <laughs> it's just so much more fun. I'd highly recommend getting Lumberjack and I'd highly recommend voting just so that you can get the ability to fly. Cause you see how satisfying that is? We just took down a full, oh. We just took down a full jungle tree and like, I don't know, not that long. And, like, I think this is, like, the max height they can spawn at because this one's huge. But let's see how fast we can break it. So we'll go up the log like this. Or up the trunk of the tree like this with all the logs. And then we'll break the little auxiliary branches in a moment. Okay, so main trunk is gone. Okay. We're going to, we're gonna, we're gonna speed run. Okay, how fast can you guys break a jungle tree, huh? Look at that. Whole jungle tree just gone. The whole thing. We're actually getting some saplings back. I don't know why I'm picking them up. It doesn't matter. It, at this point, w like once you have enough money to get a cactus farm going, you always have that little trickle of money coming in. Like w We withdrew everything from the bank, and we already have 14k, and we haven't been here that long. I did expand the cactus farm a little bit, like a little bit yesterday. I was in a call with some devs, and we were just talking and you know just hanging out, and I uh, ended up building like four more layers maybe i don't know it's just something i would recommend doing it over time i wouldn't like spend a week building it because you're gonna get burnout out probably it can be a long drawn out process to build a big cactus farm but it's very very worth it very very worth it i wish more things were automatable but with servers at this scale it's really truly just difficult to get redstone to a function i think the entire server would have to be rewritten to make that possible and unfortunately, we don't have the developmental resources at this moment to do that. Uh, but maybe sometime in the future, we can, you know, make it where you can build redstone machines that farm sugarcane and pumpkins and stuff like that. But it would be cool. It would be cool. Okay. So, all these trees should decay now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build something where I can just completely AFK... Not... Obviously, you can't AFK and do something, but, you know, where you put on a YouTube video, you walk and you break, right? And I believe the best way that I found to do that, because I did do this in a previous season, I think. And, but I can't remember how I did it. I think what I did is I had rows of two. I know, I'm just throwing away a bunch of stuff, but we don't, we don't need all this stuff. I will keep the dirt. I will keep the dirt, because it's very valuable. We'll probably just do two high rows, because, you know, if, if it's too high, then you can look down like this, right, at this angle, like pretend there's a cocoa bean and a cocoa bean, and you can just like hold your mouse down and walk like that. So I think that's what we'll end up doing. And we already have this nice little platform down here to build little projects on that we'll end up destroying. Um, but having Herbalism 1000 is super nice because it means every crop that you break will be instantly replanted. And I also believe we're going to need to have fields of other like crops temporarily because to get the farmer's harvester you need tier one and six farming masteries so even though i said i didn't want to you know do carrots <laughs> we'll probably end up doing them anyways so if we do a two block space we can put cocoa beans here and here and here and here and then we just have this row go all the way down and i don't think it matters the orientation of the logs especially since we're going to end up breaking it anyways so i will build a bunch of rows of these and then I'll come back when I'm done because there's really nothing to watch. Just a bunch of just a bunch of log placing. I am curious how expensive are cocoa beans? Cause I mean we'll get a bunch, but like oh they're only 35 each, so we could buy oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought they'd be really expensive for some reason. I don't think they're a very good crop to farm for money, but they're probably the best crop. I remember I set the MCMMO XP amounts 
really high for cocoa beans one season and I had everyone guess, you know, what is going to be the crop that's best for MCMMO and nobody nobody figured it out for a long time and I finally just spilled the beans on a live stream or on a video because I felt bad. Okay, so I'm going to build these and then I will come back when I am done. And now the next step, all the rows are built. I ended up just doing it like this. It makes it so much easier. Just placing them facing up. But now the next step is putting all the cocoa beans down, which is going to take quite a bit of time, which is okay. But again, not something I want to make you guys watch. We'll come down here, you know, every few. I'm curious, will this break? I don't know. I I was thinking maybe the fortune on the axe would give you more cocoa beans, but I don't, I don't think that's how it works. And I don't think, have any of these grown fully? I think these have down here. So that gave you, I was 55, 58, so that was, okay, 61, no, I think they only give you a maximum of three, I don't think it's a variable thing, anyways, I'm gonna plant these, well, I ran into a little bit of a hiccup, I ran out of money, but <laughs> it's okay, well, those will multiply fairly quickly, so we don't really have much to worry about, we'll just have to wait and be patient, we'll just have to be patient. I think I have, I think I have the highest mastery on jungle wood because I I did farm it for quite a bit. Uh, we don't need this. We will turn our sound down, highly recommended, before you open the vote party, and we'll see if we get some money, please. Because I can't build anything else until I get some cash. Eight gold blocks, a vote key, a tag note. We'll uh, auction hand the tag. Auction ha hand one dollar. There you go. There we go. I, I will I will be selfish and I will keep the money. I need the money very badly. Very, very badly. Okay, we'll go to warp crates to open this one vote key. Hopefully we can get lucky. Okay, please give me a new pair of shoes. A new pair of shoe. One pig spawner. I mean, it's worth 25k, so I'm not going to be mad about it. And I suppose we can go down here and put it in here. I suppose. So what can we do while we wait? Well, we could... Make the path look a little bit better because it's looking a little sparse and I threw away all my bone meal because I thought I was smart and I didn't need it, but I do in fact need it. I really do. I, I, I love this cobblestone generator, especially now that I actually like broke uh, the glass around here and, and, and built it like this. I think it looks really clean with just wood like this. And it's just so, oh, it's like buttery smooth, no lag. Now, having a server like this is crazy because I always, you know, I've had, I've been running servers since like 2013, uh, kind of, you know, most of them were smaller, more homebrewed servers, but I got a critical hit. Did you see that? <laughs> I don't even know that's a thing. I got a, I got a critical hit somehow. Is that, how long is that been a thing? Maybe it's just with axes. I really don't know. I want to make sure I get enough bone meal because I know last time I did not end up having enough. Is there stuff in here? Not enough to sell. It looks like a lot, but I assure you it's not really that much. We'll do the outside first. I wish they never added tall grass to the game. I know it's a it's a, a heated debate, you know, tall grass versus no tall grass, but I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I think it looks so bad. I know that there is, you know, the Vanilla Tweaks resource pack where you can make it a little bit smaller. But then it's still, there's like variations in, in the grass height and it's like, I don't know, that, that almost bugs me. Oh, that almost bugs me even more. Plus it makes me got to remove it. I got to, I got to go in here. I got to click, you know, this is so hard, so, such, such a hard life having to go in here and click on the tall grass. So we'll go in here. I'll add blue orchids and stuff. You've already seen me do this a bunch of times. So let me do what I'm doing. Okay. I said it looks pretty good to me. I mean, it looks like the rest of the path, which is exactly what we're going for. Uh, we may at some point do something else with the path. I'm trying to think, like, do you guys have any ideas? I mean, we could have water fall off of the sides of the path, but that may end up looking weird. We could do mahogany. Uh, not mahogany. What is it called? <laughs> Once I say mahogany, I, I, I can't think of the actual name. Mangrove wood. We could do something with mangrove wood, like some trap doors or something, but then on the corners it would be weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you guys have ideas, let me know. I'm curious. I remember last season, someone built my exact island. That was so cool to see. Someone, like, copied my island, like, exactly. Is there anyone out there who is willing to play on this server and copy my island exactly? If it does happen, make a ticket on Discord and tag me in it. The staff will get mad and say, don't tag Neo. And then be like, well, Neo told me to do it. 
in the video if I recreated his island. So if you recreate my island, tag me, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll go in your ticket and respond and look at it and uh, give you something or something like that. I don't know. It's always cool to see people. I mean, this isn't that hard to recreate, right? I'll I'll even give you a really good view. It's kind of a kind of trippy to recreate, I guess, because of the shape, but shouldn't be too bad. I want to repair this axe before I uh, destroy it. Hold on. The best thing ever on the server. A warp repair sign. Nice. I do have to say, I think the, my favorite part of this island so far is this. I don't know why. It just looks so cool. Like, it just it just looks cool. I, I have, like, an idea in my head, and I'm not sure how well it would work. I, I think I, I need to plant more of these. And uh, it's kind of strange that it's an oak tree, isn't it? Like, that doesn't seem doesn't seem like the right tree to be here. So let's plant a cherry tree here. And let's go around and build a few more of those. We got 30k. Might have a little bit more in the bank now. We had 19k, so IS. Or oh, that, easier just to go in your bank. Click on this. And then what do we have? And I know we had 14k at least. I don't remember the exact amount. Because for some reason I just have selective amnesia with numbers. We'll break this out. We'll put a cherry tree. We'll build a few more of these. I mean, they're super easy to build super quick. Especially if you can fly. If you couldn't fly, it'd be a little more difficult. So just vote. Get the ability to fly. Pretty much everyone has it. Plus, you can go in the auction house. People are selling things like even the daisy rank. People are getting from, um, like, if you just search rank, you can see all these people are selling daisy rank. And you can get it for, like, a million bucks. And that's, like, a $12 rank on the store. So if you want to get a rank, very good way to do it. There's tons of them in here. Tons of them. I'd recommend daisy. That's, like, the highest out of the rank notes. And then you could also buy, like, crate keys. Like, people are selling, like, crate keys that cost money. I assume nobody is selling, like, lucky crate keys. Um, they're selling a bunch of the skins, though, which is cool. This person's selling one for $100 million. <laughs> okay. Not sure if anyone will buy that. But you, you can always buy things in here. Like, you, you can search the word fly. I bet people are selling a ton of fly notes. I don't know what they're called. Fly note. Do I just search note? I don't know. Sometimes they're weird. Yeah, and you just have to look through these because I don't think they're called, like, fly note in the actual name. Uh, but you can look through there. See, like, th there's one I just saw. It was Perk Fly right there. So $450,000, right? Which I've gotten very easily. And then you can fly. You just have to buy it. So if you want something like that, you like, people, you could just get it on the auction house. You don't have to buy anything. So let's build a bunch of these. Um, they're pretty simple. It looks like one, two, three, four, five blocks. I almost said of mahogany. I don't even know why. That's not even the mangrove. And I'm already messing it up. I try to just throw out the sticks because you end up getting so many. I, I, I don't need it. I almost threw away the dirt until I realized I was standing on the dirt chest. So that, would just, that, that just would have caused some problems with the, with the people watching. They would have been very unhappy with me. Which is, t it's just completely fair. It is completely fair. Please give me a really tall tree. Bruh. <laughs> maybe, maybe a tree can't grow there because of the... The... the I don't know, if it doesn't grow after like 20 more bone meal, then I know why it's not growing. Okay, it's because of these. Because it doesn't, saplings don't check for wood typically. They're checking for like other blocks. See, now it grew. Oh, see, that's a cool one with two separate little, oh yeah, dude, let's go. So we'll have to remember before we put these down. So what do we need? We need mahogany wood, um, specifically stairs. We need probably more than that. We need a bunch of cherry wood. And then we need some grass, which we'll just end up using dirt for. And then, yeah, I mean, we might need more cherry wood. We don't really have a ton. What's on the bottom, though? Is it mahogany? Yeah, mahogany planks. So we're going to make one set of mahogany planks. And then the rest is going to be invested into my stair endeavors. Because we do need quite a few stairs. Okay. And then I don't think, I don't think I'm, like, missing anything else, right? I am going to go in here. I'm going to put up a few things because we don't need this. We'll keep these out. And then I need the blackstone slabs. Okay. I think I have a... Oh my gosh, my arm is so sore. Oh, I'm trying to scratch my back and I'm like stretching my... I guess my tricep and it like is hurting so bad. So where do we need to build more floating trees? Well, I mean, that's a good question. You know, the question of where to build floating trees is important. Um... I don't know, because the farm's going to be kind of over here. So maybe we'll build... 
Man, where do we build these? <laughs> I don't know. There's always trees over here. Maybe we'll build one like over here. So let's take some cherry wood, which we can break very quickly. And let's go like over here. This is gonna put it outside the island border, so we better hope that uh we better we better hope we like this. Cause it's not going it's not going away. So I need a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's easy enough. So two and then three and then four five and put the slab on the bottom and i don't know how many yet yeah, just three so one two three and then yeah we'll build it out over here one two three and then we gotta do this yup pretty easy look at that so i'm gonna build a bunch of these obviously i don't think you need to watch me do it because i've already done it before oh that one was correct this one's not correct though but I'll get pretty quick about building them, I'm sure. Especially after I build a bunch. And I do need to remember, so... Oh, okay, and then there's there's a one block space. And then down to here. Like this. Right? And then the mahogany wood is down in here. Nice. And then the stair pattern is... Right side up, right side up. Perfect. We'll build one on camera. How about that? For those of you who like watching me build. I know some people say... They like watching me build, but I know from experience that if I build for the entire episode, then people will not watch. I don't know why. Oh, I need saplings. I only grabbed one when I grabbed them, didn't I? Yeah, just one. Okay, and then we'll put the slab on after. Remember, we figured out that made it not be able to uh, grow. There we go. So this is outside the border, but it's okay because I like this tree shape. It's not the tallest tree, but that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Nice. Okay. So now we just need to... <laughs> maybe like over here, right? Like over here looks good. So we'll build another one over... It doesn't even need to be that high up. It can just be like over here. Something like that. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to build a bunch of them. I'll come right back. Dude. I can't believe there's 520 people on. That's crazy. I'll just look it over at the scoreboard. I, I don't think I can really fit anymore. I was trying to figure out some places. So we have this one that we built... We built this one, and then I built this one, and then did I build any more? No, we just built one, two, three. I feel like I built another one, but I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to put one like over here, but then I'm thinking like it's gonna get in the way of the, you know, the tree farm. But maybe not. Maybe if we just build it like over here, like a little bit down. So have this one be. Oh yeah, that's right. We're out of cherry wood too. Yeah, we'll we'll build more later because I don't want to go farm cherry wood at the moment. Let's let's get to work on the farm. Um, oh, we don't have any money. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think I can work on the farm because I don't have any money. So what I'm gonna do is in between episodes, I'm going to grind, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna be able to build a farm uh, because we just we, we literally can't, and I don't have time to farm right now because I poorly planned this. I'm sorry, but hey, daily uploads. That's how it's got to be, especially when you record them. Uh, every single day but yeah we're on day five of the season so it's barely even started people are going absolutely crazy on episode 10 i'll go and visit some top islands and if you'd like me to visit your island then what i can do is leave me a comment explaining to me why i should visit your island and uh you know i obviously i, I read all the comments i've been kind of slacking a little bit but i'll go back and i'll read all the comments and if you want me to visit your island give me your username um, and keep in mind, if you're on Bedrock, you got to put the asterisk before your username and then a, a little message of why you should visit your island. And we'll go visit a couple islands too whenever we visit the top 10 solo and teams islands. But yes, thank you guys for watching today's episode. And as always, if you want to be in the video, uh, I guess you just have to time it right. I mean, I don't really have a time I record, but if you want to end up in a video, um, I always open my island back up to the public when I am done recording. Uh, everyone come say bye to the video slash is visit the neocubus. We'll see who throws some stuff at me. <sighs> Someone's going to throw stuff at me. I just know it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Secret code for today's episode is going to be... Uh, it's been that so many times. 9326. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me the that you watched the entirety of today's video. See, I'm getting distracted. That's why I got to... We gotta close it. I'm, I'm getting kind of distracted already. What was I saying? Yeah, secret code. See, everyone else has got it in the chat. Secret code is nine three two six. I'm trying to run away because people are people are shooting me. People are throwing snowballs, eggs at me. What? Well, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. 
Look at this. Well, thank you guys all so very much for coming to say bye. We got Jolt over here trying to be the most toxic possible. But he doesn't know that I can just come under here and nobody can hit... I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. But I do appreciate it. Look, we even got Cairo here. He's being a... He's being a goober. Look, his skin lost all of his color. He needs to stand on the pink. Are are you a chamele chameleon? Stand on pink. Skin becomes pink. Dude, your skin in pink gradient would be so sick. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. I don't even remember the secret code. Was it 9326? Put it in the comments below if you're going to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Thank you for watching episode 5. I hope you guys play on the server. It's a lot of fun. I've been having a ton of fun. And uh, I'm having fun with 522 of you guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!